Hello, I'm Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD, Professor of Computer Science at El Camino College, Torrance. Today I wanted to show you string input in C language, C programs from keyboard. And we're going to discuss a few things on this PowerPoint and then go to a program called Xcode software for developing C programs. Show most of the things there. So strings in C are stored in an array of characters of fixed size. And declaration of a character array is shown like this. Char, this is the name of the character array. This is the capacity or max, which is more than zero. Max is a programmer defined constant that gives the capacity of the array or maximum number of characters that can be stored in the array. Since this str has a fixed capacity, there are problems when a string inputted by the user is larger than the max. And we will not discuss the problem caused by string inputs larger than the capacity now, but we'll discuss safer methods, functions that can control the number of characters inputted. So there are three functions for a string input from keyboard in C. One is gets. Gets has a problem of string storage buffer overflow. If number of characters inputted are more than capacity of the string to store it, there are problems. And then there's a scanf can be used also, but has the same problem as gets. However, once we have learned dynamical memory allocation, it can be perfected toward buffer overflow. But there is a function called fgets that is safest of the three. So we'll demo only fgets. Okay, so that's, we don't need to do more in PowerPoint. Let's discuss fgets first. This is from c++.com, a discussion of the fgets and trying to make it as large as possible. So basically, if you look at here, this is the prototype of the fgets function. First argument is the array of character, which is represented by the pointer here that will store the string. Second is the number of characters you want to store. This could be equal to the capacity of the array or less than that. And third is the file pointer like are you trying to store from a keyboard in that case it's really simply a stdin or a pointer to a data file that is on the hard drive somewhere okay and it does return a character it will return null if it failed otherwise it will return actually it'll return zero if it failed and it'll return one for success and we might use that okay and as this says read characters from stream and store them in c string until num minus one characters have been read or either new line or end of file has been reached whichever happens first the reason it stores num minus one because it needs one character to end the string, which is called null terminator. Okay. So if you are using some capacity max, it's only usefully only going to read max minus one. Okay. Rest of these characters, if it's if a string is longer, then that will be left in the buffer. And it's programmer's duty to clear the buffer if there are more inputs coming that that use f gets okay all right now we're gonna demo this in the xcode okay here's the xcode so notice i'm doing this here set the capacity to 30 okay but i'm also taking an age input and i wanted to show you that if buffer is not clean or flushed there are problems in using fgets. And here I'm using fgets into the name array with max and std in means from the keyboard. Okay, let's run it first. 
and we'll see the problem associated with this if we don't use the flush. Okay, succeeded. And I'll update it. So let's say somebody's age is 61. And really speaking, Okay, uh, I guess I'm missing a printf here to enter the name. Okay, I can add that. Printf enter your full name. Let me tell it on the program again, of course. Okay, stop, run again. So let's say somebody is 61, that's entered. And can you see this here? It displays enter your full name, but didn't stop to take the input. And it says you didn't enter your name. And the reason for that is that scan F stored this but when I pressed enter key after 61 that was still in the buffer and then F gets actually gets the input in the buffer and since it already got something it doesn't even allow you to enter your name so when using F gets after scan F you have to flush the buffer and there's a macro for that and the macro is right here found defined flush while get char is not equal to n keep getting the input so this will actually flush the buffer and you'll see next time that it will actually stop here over here to get the input of the name so I've commented in the macro to flush the buffer. So let's take a look at that. So again, age entered 61. And if I enter the name that will fit in the buffer, then there's not a problem. It will actually return. Hello, Satish Singh. So what happened here is that characters were 30. And number of characters here is not 30. So when it goes to line 22, it took <clears throat> it took the input of entire name Satish Singhal. So that's less than 30. And it was more than one character. And first character was an alphabet so this block is executed when user enter, enters at least one alphabetical character and then presses the enter key and hello my name Satish single was displayed okay so now let's see what happens when we enter more characters than the buffer I'm going to reduce buffer to let's say three Okay, let's see what happens then. So I'll enter, still enter the age 61, and I'll enter my first name, last name. And notice it only took two characters from this name, SR, because the third space is reserved for the null character. So it won't even take three, it'll take only two because the third one is automatically used. For the null character so in that case rest of the string is left in the buffer and if you're going to do another f gets you'll have to run the flush again okay so it's a good idea to have this buffer big enough that entire string that you are trying to store 
will be stored okay so once we do that increase the buffer size then we'll get back to normal again and hello such a single we are back to normal again uh, notice that we have some protection built in that if somebody doesn't type an alphabet as the first character and they don't type more than one character then there's an else block we'll say you didn't really enter your name so we'll show demo that when does the else block executes if i just press the enter key after uh, this displays okay so we'll run it again Sixty-one, and it's asking to enter full name. I just press the enter key only. Well, then it'll say you didn't enter your name. Now, <clears throat> user can also use the EOF character to completely block data entry, which is Control D in Mac and and unix and control z on windows so let's see that behavior okay for age i'll still enter something but now f gets and if i do control d okay i did do control d somehow it didn't work oh no i didn't do control d And it says you didn't enter your name. Okay, you entered something but didn't enter the name. Oh, actually, I should have had this one. Okay, maybe it's being interfered a little bit by this. So let me just comment out this much. And then we'll see that that other behavior will show up. Okay. So let's see this time. Enter your full name and I do it simply control D. And this time you say you didn't enter anything. Because what happened is that F gets is supposed to read that many characters or up to end of file, whichever comes first. Control D, UF, end of file from the keyboard input. So it read that, and in that case, it returned a false, actually. So this else block executed that you didn't enter anything. OK, so it's a good idea to use um, if gets in a if block, because if they enter control D, which is end of file character, then you really won't get anything. And the other thing is that it's a good idea to use flush if a scanf was done before using fgets. So there are these moving parts. So assuming that uh, fgets is the first input, there's nothing in the flush buffer, buffer is flush. The normal uses this that this max is bigger than what you will input, but if you input something bigger than max, then program will still work, although uh, there will be characters left in the buffer that will need flushing if there is another f gets input after that. Okay. So basically, this is the normal behavior that as full name number of char characters entered is smaller than the buffer and it says hello the input was taken entire buffer was safe for input okay if you take a scan of input like i commented out here then you'll have to use the flush to flush the buffer 
And in that case, again, it will work nicely. So enter key in the buffer, but flush got rid of it. Flush is this a loop that gets rid of it. And now again, it works normally. <clears throat> if we enter key, just press the enter key, then it just gets the enter key, which is not a name. And as for the name, and if I enter key, then you say you didn't enter your name because it was just the enter key, which is not a, which is white space, not a string. Okay, that's my video on FCATs. Hope you liked it. And I'll see you in future.